Hi YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to a day in the life. I'm gonna be doing <coughs> I'm gonna be doing a video of the day in my life. Kids just started school. I'll talk about that later. Let me tell you, start off by saying it is 8:17. Um, I am in our little home gym. I'll show it to you in a minute. And whew, I just finished exercising with my sweatsuit. Let me see. Yeah, you can see. And I'll explain to you like why I'm doing this. Oh, there, there's the gym. Uh, excuse the chair, but my husband uses that when he's riding his bike. He puts like his water and stuff like that right there. Oh. So, um, already this morning, <coughs> excuse me, already this morning, I got up early, uh, scrolled through my phone a bit, had some coffee. I woke up the kids, got them breakfast, and got two of the three. Oh, I look so crazy. I'm so sorry. Two of three. I got sunburnt, and now my skin is just, just going crazy. Look at this. This is gonna like come off, I think, because so like I used to be all this color right here, and now it's just all of the 15 other colors. That I did. But anyway, I'll get myself together. But first, uh, let me explain to you. Okay, I got two of the three off to school. Juliet's still here. She's having her little time eating breakfast and watching her little shows. Today, I don't know what today's gonna bring. Uh, I'm doing some Amazon flexing, I think. Yes, I am. Not I think, I am. And I have a video call with the surrogacy agency, a house tour, I mean a house, um, a home visit, and making stew and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna bring you guys with me. So put on your seatbelts, <coughs> buckle up and get ready for this awesome day. Oh yeah, it's Friday by the way. So I just came in from the gym, which is out there in our little sunroom. Now I'm headed into this room. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a sitting room, I guess. I guess. I'm gonna turn on the light for the fish tank. I got my little fishies friends down there. I'm gonna feed them, so. Oh yeah. So this is what I feed them, discus flakes. You can see on my arm where the sleeve was attached. Whew. I'm still sweating. So I just get a pinch of that, excuse my nails, and feed the fish. Right now, while I'm feeding them, they don't come up right away because they're scared of me for some reason. I never did anything to scare them, but they're scared of me. And these little guys have no fear, so they just went right in. Wee! Now I have to show you what I'm, I'm doing today. I'm cleaning my kitchen. So this is what we're looking like right now. Hot Miss Express. So you guys are gonna come with me to clean this place up and to start the crock pot dinner. Let's go check on Juliet. She's playing some Xbox. Hey baby. How you doing? Good. This is our calendar. I have to put everything on the calendar or else it's not gonna happen. Like I'll forget. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so, oh, sorry. The sunlight is shining in on my face. Judy is here. Say hi, Julia. Hi. She's helping me do the dishes. So we're gonna get these dishes done and then we'll have a little chat. The reason that I'm exercising more is because I have decided to do another surrogacy journey. So a second surrogacy journey. So in order to do that, I have to be a certain BMI. Yeah, a little baby coming. <laughs> so I had my last surrogacy baby six months. I need that. Six months ago. And like, I think maybe three weeks, not three weeks, three months postpartum. I'm a message, surrogacy is, who are the people that help me find a surrogacy agency to work with and let them know, like, I want to do it one more time. One more time. That's it. So I decided, yeah, let's do it. And they told me what I needed to do and what weight I need to be to get there. Look at this. So I have to have a BMI of 30. Yeah. So I've been exercising crazy. 
not crazy, like an appropriate amount. Exercising, eating, trying to eat better, and just you know, getting ready for the next thing so I can be healthy all along the way. What do you think of that, huge, of another baby? So this is what we're looking like in the kitchen. Much better, I would say. Got the air fryer and oatmeal and junk like that. I mean, stuff like that over there. Yeah, so it's, it's okay, it's good. Um, I have a stew that I just started in the prep pot that we'll have for dinner, because um, I might not be home around dinner time, so Dan could just feed the kids. And yeah. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready and then we're gonna go pick up a Walmart grocery order. So I just got out of the shower. Now I'm gonna put on a little makeup so I look presentable for the world. And then I will be free to hang out with my babe girl until 11 when I have the home visit. Okay. So the goal is to cover all of that, cover all the skin, but like to like make the skin match it's still like oh look at all my grays but anyway um it's still really crunchy don't mind my eyebrows i'm trying to grow them out it's not working but i'm trying i'm giving them a chance <laughs> and i've been doing it for a while and they're still just so thin i think i just plucked them to oblivion actually um i'm gonna use let's see what is this milani conceal perfect two-in-one foundation concealer so sorry if i bust out in a random accent sometimes so i just little put up with an accent i do not mean to offend anybody i just appreciate the way it sounds though i feel more like a comment to you so you're probably wondering why i want to put myself through another surrogacy and you know the only way i could explain it is it's addictive so if you're a mama and you <laughs> sorry are looking into being a surrogate i would just warn you that it is highly addictive and for me what like the part that i love the most that make like has me coming back for more is like just all those emotions like all those so powerful and strong emotions of like bringing a baby into the world and then also helping a family it's like beyond anything else you could ever do and that's what is addictive. That's what gets keeps you going back, like I said. So, um, wait, what am I saying? <laughs> so, oh yeah, and also just the power you feel like as a woman being able to do that, unlike anything in this world. So that's what has me going back. Um, at the point I'm at now is I'm just in the beginning stages. So I've submitted all of my like 
ID and stuff like that. Literally, what was I saying? Oh, where I'm at in my journey. So I submitted my paperwork. What else needs to do? Today, where I already told you guys that I'm gonna have the uh, walkthrough. And we're, I guess we're gonna go over the benefit package, I think, I don't know. And then um, I already got my clearance from the LB to be a surrogate again. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I do? I think that's it. Oh yeah, now I'm on the home visit. And then I think after this we'll do a psych evaluation for Dane and I. And then after that, we'll do matching and find a parent or a family to work with. So everything's moving along really nice. And at a good pace too, because I still have weight to lose to get to my goal. I think I need to lose eight pounds. So I'm working on that right now. <coughs> and yeah, we're making a way. What should I do next? Let's do the, let's tackle these eyebrows because my eyebrows mess, just a mess. Okay, so this is just um, an LA Colors cheap uh, browy wowie brow pencil. Oh, sorry, the faces I make. I'm using the mirror right here, so I'm gonna be like looking that way sometimes. But still talking to you guys, of course. So I'm just doing like one step at a time. I was talking to Dane the other day and he's like, yeah, you just do baby steps every day or like just meet one goal and then you go to the next and you make little goals that are not gonna overwhelm you. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I never thought about that. That's a great idea. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just taking it one little goal at a time. So right now the goal is to lose those eight pounds. After that, it'll be to get through the psych evaluation, which is easy. I've d I did it before with my last surrogate surrogacy and it's so easy. It's just like having a conversation with a friend and then you get approved. And then after that, It'll be meet the IPs, choose a family. So, you know, just one thing at a time. And all you can do is that one step before you even think about the next. So just give it like all of your focus, put it all in there instead of just trying to think it could get overwhelming if you're thinking about it all like as a whole, like, okay, boutique, surrogacy, be a good mom, be a good wife, like one thing at a time. I mean, but as you're doing like your one thing career-wise, you're doing the one thing family-wise, you know what I mean? Like all the areas you are just doing one little task at a time. Raising a kid, keep raising kids, keeping a home, like those are all like daily goals. You go like that. So you just do your thing and you move right along. And it takes a little bit of the pressure off. Now I'm going to do this, um, it's called Nabby Fat Liquid Eyeliner. It's from Mia got it for me. She's so sweet. I'd like to do like a winged eyeliner. Not too far out, like just really, just a little. Oh, oop, oop. So today, after this, my next thing is just like spend some time with my daughter, play with her, do whatever she wants to do, really. And then at 11 o'clock, do that walkthrough. After that, I have to go get, go pick up a Walmart order and I'm going to do a grocery haul for you guys. And uh, then I have to go do some driving Amazon Flex. So we are busy today, which I love. Like when kids get... The kids go back to school. It really is my time to shine. Mm -hmm. Like the lips. I'm not gonna put anything on my lips either because I got a sunburn on my lip. I don't know if you can see it. Can't, but I got a sunburn on there and it's like sore and the skin's cracked and stuff. So I don't wanna, I'll put like some Carmex on there, but I do not wanna put any like lip color or liner or anything like that. That would make it even more dry. Oh, setting spray. To setting spray after liner or not? Nope, not gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out, this little clip. Hi. 
hi so we're in the car now i just had the meeting and then we're now we're heading over to walmart to pick up our grocery order and the baby has fallen asleep in the back seat this is the first week of kid, of school for the kids so everybody's tired and everybody's adjusting to the new schedule so this happened i had she had a little plate of a, like her little snack while we were driving and she fell asleep my sweet baby is so tired with the new schedule oh my gosh isn't she the most precious thing you've ever seen Okay, so I just got back and unloaded the groceries, and I want to show, show you guys what I got. I got what me and my family call bubble water, which is um, carbonated water in black cherry. This has uh, no sweetener, no caffeine, no sodium, and no calories. Don't ask me how they do that. A thing of ground beef, like a big thing that I'll have to separate. Some ribs. My kids love ribs. Um, bacon. That's not the one I chose, but I guess it's a substitution. I'm, I'm fine with whatever. Some lunch meat, turkey, chicken braised, routine, uh, garden rutini, which I like to make like a pasta salad with, Bo boba, brown sugar flavor, oh, it's matcha, my daughter Mia loves that, some taco seasoning and some chili seasoning, I, we need our seasoning packets, you know, um, a little thing of shrimp. And usually just Mia and I eat the shrimp or seafood, so. Mm, mixed vegetables, tater tots. We have some green beans, organic bananas, pineapple. What's this called? Cantaloupe. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna call it. One tomato and one bell pepper. <laughs> Nectarines, pepperoncinis for the pasta salad. And olives also for the pasta salad. Romaine lettuce, sorry, romaine lettuce. Oh, I'm really digging in. Um, a cucumber. I have no control over myself sometimes when it comes to accents that I don't actually have. Whipping cream. Goya, yellow rice, so good. Eggs. Pepper jack, chives. I just got it because we need like a, a, like a change. We always just get like mild cheddar or sharp cheddar and i was like let's get this and let's try something different two things of butter butter sorry skewers two cans of nacho cheese and over here is like the more like not good for you stuff we have a bunch of hot dogs already so i got some hot dog buns i don't even know if that's the one i wanted but that's okay substitute um takis semi-sweet chocolate chips coffee folders in your cup a honey cornbread. Liam loves that with his chili. What are these? Oh, barbecue chips. Kool-Aid jammers or, or slammers or whatever. Some noodles for the kids after they get home when they want just something quick and easy for a snack or something. Some juice mix because they're always asking me for juice. Now, Mama's going to try her hand at making some homemade bread. So stay tuned for that. I think I can do it. Like, come on. It looks easy. Candy, sweet tart ropes, not for me, obviously. Marshmallows, because if you look up here, above the fridge, we have some um, Rice Krispies, so I wanna make some Rice Krispie treats. Ziploc bags, because Liam wants to take lunch to school. And some cooking spray. And that is it. This costed all of this, so from here, all the way to here, all this cost was like 180 something. So, I mean, inflation is real. Like we probably could have got much more. Actually, we could have definitely have got much more, but I'm not complaining because this is a lot. We can do a lot with this. So I'm just thankful, you know, thanking the Lord that he provides and my husband is able-bodied and ready to work so we can, you know, eat. All right. So we're home. I forgot to uh, film a little bit, but Juliet's over here. Liam came home from school. He's over there with his snacks. And Mia is here. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm looking, just keep on refreshing my Amazon Flex till I get the price that I want for my labor. So hopefully we'll pick something up this evening when it's not so hot. I, I think it's like 90 degrees or something. It's very hot. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> 
So we did the home visit for the surrogacy and I think that's it. Or we're going on to the next step, I think. We're just waiting for a background check to come back. So slowly but surely we're moving right along. Liam, you want to say hi? Here we go. Lily. Hi, Jooch. Hi. L Liam, you want to say hi? Hi. So Mia ordered some snacks, not ordered, but she asked for some snacks. So I'm gonna make these mini tacos. I'm just gonna put them in the air fryer. They're from Jose Ole. Then some nacho cheese on it. And Liam wants some as well, but he does not like cheese. I'm gonna throw some of these in for Mia. She said she wanted six and they're little, they're cute and little. One. Okay, so I have the nacho cheese here that I heated up, the mini tacos, and so I'm just gonna get that cheese on there. I'm trying to evenly <laughs> distribute it. Ah, go away, go. It's not really working out. So these probably are pretty much gonna be fully just covered with cheese. Can't even tell. It looks kind of like nachos, but. The mini tacos. So let's see here. So there you have Mia's tacos and Liam's tacos. So you guys saw I was cleaning and trying to get the house all clean. Well, I let the kids loose with a little bit of chips, and this is what we get: crumbs everywhere. And people wonder why I don't like to clean. Because I clean and I bust my butt. And as soon as the kids get a chip bag loose, it's all over with. So we're doing Amazon Prime. I forgot to tell you guys, we're almost done. We've been going since six. We got $99 for three hours. And we're almost done. So I think we're going to be done before that. I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. So I'm home now, we made it home early. I'm still on the clock technically. So we worked for about two hours of delivering packages and we were done. It didn't even take us that long and it was 40 packages. So we did amazing, it was amazing. The route was cool, it was super easy. So I'm hoping for more routes. Stop Mia. Mia. I'm hoping for more else like that. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to just chill, drink my carbonated water, and go to bed. Or just relax. Bye. Thank you for spending today with me.